Hi everyone, we're back on our Windows Server 2012 machine that we just got done installing. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make this into a domain controller. So first, now what you would usually do on old servers such as 2003 or 2008 would be to run DC Promo. Now if you run DC Promo in this box, you'll see what happens. I'm going to come up with this, and that's because we, ne we need to use the installation wizard that's available to us now. So we'll click OK, and we'll close out of that. Now first what we're actually going to do, we'll go to Server Manager and Local Server, and we're going to change our computer name. And we'll just call it, uh, we'll call it Server 2012, and we'll click OK. It takes a while. must restart your computer. OK and close. And we'll come back once it's done restarting. Alright, and we're back up and running. So we're going to go back to Server Manager. If you go to Local Server, see that our server name has now changed to Server 2012. Uh, if we go to Dashboard, this is where uh, we're going to install Active Directory. So we go to Add Roles and Features, and we're going to click Next here. Role-based or feature-based installation. That's the one that we're going to choose. We don't need remote desktop services right now. Click Next, and double check to make sure these, these, uh, these settings are right, and click Next. Now here you're going to want Active Directory Domain Services, and we're going to click Add Features, and then Next, and Next again, and we're going to restart the destination server automatically if required. Yes. And then we're going to click install. And we will return when this is done installing. Alright, we're back. That finished installing. And now you see this uh, warning sign by the notification. So we'll click on that. And promote this server to a domain controller. We're going to want that. And I'll wait for that to load. Uh, add a domain controller to an existing domain. We don't want that because we don't have an existing domain. Add a new domain to an existing forest. We don't have a forest either. So we'll do add a new forest. We'll call it domain.local. That's what our uh, domain is going to be called. And we'll click next. Takes a little while. Alright, and we'll wait for this to load. Now we have forest function level. This is Windows Server 2012. We're actually going to change this to Windows Server 2008 R2 in case we want to install different servers later that won't be uh, Windows Server 2012. We're going to do the same thing for the domain function level. 2008 R2. Uh, DNS, that is correct. And this, since it is the first domain controller of the forest, it's going to be a global catalog server. And we'll put our password in. We'll do password1. And next. And this is OK. This is all right. So don't worry about this if this comes up. You can just click OK. And next. It's going to verify the NetBIOS name. So this should come up and just say domain. So it just says domain there. We'll click next. There's a lot of next, 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 next. Just like in uh, 2008 and 2003. <laughs> uh, the uh, database folder, log files folder, all of this can be left as default unless you want to change it. You can go here and then you just browse where you want to change it to. And so you can just click next there. This is just a review of the settings that we just had in there. There's our uh, NetBIOS name. Uh, forest function level, domain function level, global catalog, and so you can just click next there after reviewing all of that. Now it will validate uh, everything that we just that we just put in there. It'll check everything, make sure that it's all all right, and it'll come up here and say uh, that it's okay, and then we can just click install. And if you if you read this. If you click install, the server automatically reboots at the end of the promotion operation. So after it's done rebooting, uh, we will have our domain controller, at least I believe we should. 
and they passed successfully and so we will click install and uh, we will return when this is finished alright and this is what comes up once uh, the server is successful, oh, successfully configured for Active Directory and it's shutting down everything and it will reboot and after that then if we go back into server manager we should see uh, Active Directory domains and trusts and users and groups and things of that nature and we should see DNS in there as well alright so we're back server manager came up and like I said if we go to tools here's all of our Active Directory options here's DNS go into users and computers there's no X here so that's a good sign domain.local type domain and if we go to local servers it is now domain and domain.local and that is how you turn your Windows Server 2012 box into a domain controller